Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of A Chinese Ghost Story, a Hong Kong fantasy genre bender from 1987 that was directed by Ching Su Tong. Now one could classify this as a action-horror-romance hybrid, with fantasy of course. Ning Choi San, a timid debt collector played by Leslie Chung, goes to a rural town to collect debts, but fails and runs out of money. He has no choice but to take shelter in a deserted temple in the forest on the outskirts of the town. That night, he meets a beautiful and alluring young maiden, Nip Su Sin, played by Joey Wong, and falls in love with her. In the morning, however, after he recalls that night's events, he becomes increasingly fearful and superstitious because a Taoist priest told him that the people that he saw in the temple are ghosts. So that night he returns to the temple and the crap will soon hit the fan. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to point out is that this movie is very aesthetically pleasing. Cinematography and music are really good. Tons of atmosphere. Lots of cool blue lighting and that's contrasted with some warm candlelight. The opening scene, like, involves the seduction and death of one of the ghost victims. And then, like, ten minutes later, our protagonist is being chased in a dimly lit forest by wolves. So it's, it's a good start to the film, and it keeps going. You know, much of this film takes place at night, so there's a long, sustained impact of this atmosphere. Plenty of wind effects, old, decrepit wooden structures, etc. Really cool stuff. You know, a Chinese ghost story kind of has... A spooky fun vibe that I would say is fun for the whole family. I mean, it gets it gets slightly sensual in spots, but nothing too inappropriate, I don't think. And it gets slightly violent in spots, but it's so fantastical. I think kids could handle this movie fine, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it definitely makes for great viewing during the Halloween season, and that's one of the reasons why I'm reviewing it to this October. <clears throat> now, the action horror sequences have a ton of creativity with monsters and humans using different kinds of attacks, lots of spell casting and magical items are used. I don't want to spoil too much for anyone who has not seen this, but there's a giant tongue, like a giant monster demon tongue that flies around and, and attacks multiple times and kind of wraps around people and drags them off. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. And then later on we get a multi-headed demon, among other things. So pretty solid dark fantasy villain stuff. The final half hour in particular is insane. You know, the main villain is tough to take down, which is what you always like to see in films like this. Very satisfying conclusion to the film. Now, one of the cooler aspects of this movie is that the special effects are practical. Basically, everything nowadays is a CGI cartoon fest, right? There's a lot of CGI that's used nowadays. So it's very refreshing to watch a film like this from the 80s because you experience a much more grounded aesthetic. And I would go so far as to say that I actually prefer the visuals in this film over most of the contemporary fantasy films that are coming out of China. Now the use of flying cloth, for example, is a, is a hallmark of like old school Hong Kong fantasy films from the 80s and 90s, so it appears in full force here. It's always fun to watch that, how they use that. And there is some stop motion and optical effects as well, add some, some charm to the film. So I really like the way it looks and the whole aesthetic to this. Characters are likable and engaging. Th there's a romance angle, but it's actually good. It's kind of seductive, but playful. The acting is legitimately good as well. Leslie Chung and Joey Wong, very good in the leads here. It's just, this is like, uh, this is considered a classic of Hong Kong cinema. In case you don't know, like a Chinese ghost story is a is like one of the quintessential fantasy films of all time from Hong Kong. So that's one reason why you must watch it. But I do think that it is a very unique and memorable movie. You know, when I say that Hong Kong films from the 80s and 90s feel like they were made on a different planet, this is kind of a good example of what I'm talking about. I mean, there's plenty of fantasy films that have been made, but you're really not going to see a movie like this very often out of outside of Hong Kong. You know, uh, think about it. A fantasy film with grounded, practical effects, a horrific undercurrent, crazy action violence mixed in, 
and endearing characters with a romance angle that actually works. So, so you know, it's kind of, uh, it does a lot of things right to this film. If that sounds good to you, you got to check this film out. It's a high priority. A Chinese Ghost Story is available on Amazon streaming as well as physical media. I will be reviewing both sequels in the next few weeks. So we're doing a little Chinese Ghost Story trilogy marathon here this October. So look out for those. But yeah, if you have not seen this, watch it. And as always, I will see you next time.